Hey everyone, it's uh, McDiggs here. It's Sunday, April 30th. It's about uh, 10 of 7 at night, and I'm going to do a brief wrap up here. I had the opportunity to participate in the dream hunt today, and that was a hunt that was the idea of uh, Mr. Barney Dolt, and he has been a detectorist for many, many years. He very generously this year planted a number of his uh, finds and uh, gave us about a group of about 30 the opportunity to search part of the woods at the Crimea estate off of Windsor Hill Road in Baltimore and um, see if we could find the things that he planted. And I just wanted to show you a few of the things and the things that uh, Barney put out I think I found a number of them um, you can see that uh, he has had the opportunity to search Civil War sites, so uh, I will go ahead and zoom in on the uh, mini balls. And I found uh, found a total of eight mini balls. Some of the more interesting ones are the one there on the left that has a piece of lead attached to it. It's uh, probably part of another mini ball that melted, got too close to the fire. I think you can see some black on that. So that's pretty cool. And this one, I think, is really unusual. In you can see the uh, the way the uh, the rings are cut and got a bit of a pitch to them. So these are all great finds. I'm not really sure what what this is, or even if uh, this was one of his plants but uh, just appears to be a cartridge casing. And this is very unusual. I had to clean this up a little bit. But this is a, um, I think it's an eagle cuff button. Let's try to get a little bit more light on it so it focuses. There you go. It's an eagle cuff button. I think you can see the eagle facing to the left. The shield uh, down on the lower right, you can see the talon of the eagle holding some arrows. And let's go ahead and flip it over because this is where a lot of the cleaning helped. There you have, at least we can read Scoville. And if you look at the inner circle, the one that comes out to about here, then you get the idea that this probably was the size of a cuff button, something the size of uh, maybe a little bit bigger than a dime, uh, that just got flattened. I'm not sure what wrote over this button, but it is just flat as a coin. There's no no, <clears throat> not too many, not, it's not, it's not dimensional like it was when it was first made. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about these pennies. Uh, what Barney did, he said to slow us down, was he threw out a bunch of these pennies, and um, the penny was actually a clue. If you found the pennies, you were probably near a good target, um, and... Um, but it, it wasn't always the case, but I think more often than not, that's how it worked out. So, i zoom back out and say that I think the things that I just showed you are things that Barney threw out. And there were other things that I found that maybe not. Um, this was just a clasp that uh, I think you can see it, at one point in time it was silvered but not now. Um, maybe a, just a lady's brooch. Again, this is only part of what it once was. It's broken off. Looks like it might have been part of a hairpiece. And then the area where we were searching is... Sorry about that. There we go. It's really sort of like an old trash site. So. Not only did I find things that that were that were planted, but also things that are there as part of the trash that was accumulated over the years. And you can see the iron, um, the small twist-on piece of brass or copper. This took me a while to figure out what this is, but it's actually just a part to a. Um, this would this would be nailed up. To the inside of a window and then a shade would fit into that hole. 
and uh, that was meant to hold one side of the shade. So there were uh, actually some uh, some bottles. Now I ended up digging this one in the course of looking for uh, a piece of metal. I think you see the number two on the bottom there. Looks like it held a cork. It's probably just a shoe polish bottle or something like that. And then this is uh, again a bottle that had applied labels. That's probably early 20th century. There's the seam. And uh, likewise this. I mean this is early 20th century with a twist on cap. Maybe a Bakelite type cap. But it's the only bottle I found that actually has writing on the side. Sloan's liniment. Made in the USA. So uh, this the last piece I'll show you is the, my favorite iron find of the day. And notice that on this side it says W.H. Stewart. We'll flip it over. And over here it says patented. Well, it turns out that W.H. Stewart was an, in, an inventor in the latter half of the uh, 19th century. Uh, you can see the... Uh, I'm not sure whether those are iron or brass. They appear to have a bit of a different color, but they could just be iron, like the rest of it. And you could sort of imagine that there was a piece of wood that fit in there and that this, uh, this slot fit a metal bar. I'm not sure what this uh, went to, but that was pretty cool to actually find a piece of iron that was part of a piece of machinery and that I could identify the inventor. So that was, that was it. We had a great day. There were about 30 of us. And as I sign off, I want to say congratulations to... Howard, who found the treasure chest today, and a bunch of other good things. Uh, congrats to uh, Jamie, who found a big handful of silver coins. And to Daryl. I don't know how Daryl did at the Barney Dream Hunt, but Daryl had an awesome find yesterday. He found a cache of silver coins, 64 in total. So, congrats, Daryl, on that. And then finally... Uh, thanks to you, Barney, for uh, having the idea of sharing all your finds with us and giving us a great morning of detecting. So thanks again, and I'm signing off. See you guys later.